Welcome to VHS Voyage, where we're on a journey to find, watch, and discuss movies on VHS we've never seen or never knew existed. I'm Matt. I'm Devin. Today's episode, we're going to talk about Mr. Accident. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to talk about Mr. Accident. But first, before we start getting into the movie, Devin, hit us with some facts and information. And I'm curious what you found out about this Yahoo Serious guy. Written, directed, and stars Yahoo Serious. Oh, he wrote and directed it. Yeah, all oh, okay. of it. So he did three movies in his whole entire life. That's mm -hmm. it. Really? And just he, wrote, he wrote and directed all of them. Mm -hmm. This was his final movie. Uh, he's just some kind of Australian comedian that's kind of similar to like Ernest. If you had to guess how old this guy was when this movie was made, what would you say? I would say 35. This man was almost 50 years old. No way. So it kind of opens up with a bunch of kids taking apart engines. You see Yahoo Sirius, his character, his name is Roger as a kid, and he is trying to draw something and his mom and dad freak the fuck out on him because they don't want him using his imagination. They want him taking stuff apart like his uh, siblings. Then it cuts to him as an adult going through his morning routine. And during his morning routine, he causes absolute chaos, basically breaks everything and destroys everything in his entire apartment, floods the place. And then you find out he's a maintenance man for like an egg factory packing plant type place, which why anyone would hire this guy as a maintenance man is beyond me. The CEO of this egg company, his brother ends up forcing him at ax point to sign the company over to him and his brother takes over the company. And this is kind of your introduction to what I guess is the villain. Then you get to a scene where Roger's friend takes him to a bar because he's trying to get the dude, he's trying to get the dude to get a girlfriend, right? Because he's not very good at, at, at girls. So he takes him to the bar. For some reason, the bartender at this bar is super angry and aggressive. He called you a psycho. No? You get introduced to the female in the movie and her name is Sunday because she's at dinner with the new boss of the egg company. And he's just a total asshole. He's just a complete asshole to her at dinner and she ends up breaking up with him and running off. And in her, in her scramble to try to get home to her apartment, she accidentally tries to unlock Roger's apartment and Roger opens the door, she falls on him, he catches her by her boobs, and she sees that he has a flump plumbing issue, she fixes his plumbing, his ro his roommate Lyndon shows up and thinks that Roger had sex because she's because the way they're talking after that is very kind of sexual innuendo type, innuendo type stuff. Then you get introduced to Sunday's roommate, who she's staying with, and she's a police officer, and she, for some reason, she has an insanely large well, ass. Well, it's, it's a fake prosthetic fake, ass. Oh, for sure. And I don't understand what the point yeah. of that was. Was. Yeah, it was, dude, it was abnormally large. Fucking. <laughs> it looked very uh, Mrs. Incredible from Incredibles. It did. Yeah. He, he There's a scene where Roger's driving in his car with Lyndon and his AC is on. For some reason, his AC is so strong that it turns the inside of his car into a freezer and they're like both freezing. And yeah. Then, and it fogs up his window to the work point where he can't see and Roger ends up crashing uh, his car into like this, this like, like ravine pit type area. And then he, when he, when they escape the crash, Roger and Lyndon, Roger finds this strange metallic object embedded in the rock. Some weird homeless man shows up. He pulls the metallic object out of the rock. He thinks it's a hubcap. Then there's this random scene where Sunday is in her apartment with her roommate, her cop roommate, and her cop roommate's literally sitting in her apartment shooting at targets. Yes, what the, the hell was that? <laughs> So you find out that Sunday uh, likes to study the cosmos in her spare time because she's looking for extraterrestrial life. Landon ends up giving Roger advice about uh, Sunday, telling him that he needs to show interest in her interests. So Roger starts studying UFOs and he begins to suspect that this hubcap that he has is an extraterrestrial object. So he starts testing it and trying to destroy it with various methods and he finds out that it's basically indestructible. So Sunday and Roger go to dinner. They talk about egg whites and it sounds very sexual and people in the restaurant are overhearing this and like, what the f 
this awesome. is very from similar to when we all go out to dinner uh with the group and then there's like an older couple <laughs> sitting in the restaurant yep. and looking at us that's yep. become one of my favorite things to do is when we all go out because Jared and, and mm. Eric and some other people just like to yell absolutely horrific things out loud mm. at the top of their lungs. And I love to watch the old people sitting around us yep. absolutely horrified. What's your favorite way of doing it? I like to beat it until it gets really stiff. <laughs> just eat your food, Harvey. Of course, during the dinner, they end up causing chaos. They end up destroying an old Egyptian vase. They cause a huge mess at the restaurant. Just absolute chaos. And Sunday basically takes off because she's upset. And then Roger gets in his car and starts to leave and he's got a gas tank leak. And as he's driving off, the whole sequence of him driving back to his home, there's a flame following his car the whole time. And then finally, when he gets home, flame catches up to his car when he's on the front porch with his roommate Lyndon and his car explodes. Never got off the ground. You're never gonna pull chicks in that heat. The egg company has a new egg product, right? They have a new egg product that they're planning on putting to market and Roger has a sample and he feeds a little piece of it to his goldfish and this was kind of f***ed up, dude. His goldfish eats this egg, starts going getting crazy swimming in circles, jumps out of the, the, the tank, falls out the window, lands on the pavement, and fucking gets run over by a car. That would, I was hey, like, damn. He might have lived. It never showed, it never. That's a good they point. Did, they were just like, no, he's dead. You should have went down there and checked on him. Yeah. He could have lived. That's a good point. He could have. Goldfish, I've heard, are kind of hard to so kill, the, man. Roger finds out that the eggs actually have nicotine in them. So the boss's big scheme was to put, uh, basically feed the chickens tobacco laced uh, feed which then in turn caused the eggs to be laced with nicotine so that people that buy the eggs become very addicted to them and continue to buy eggs. So that's his like grand uh, villain scheme. Then his boss finds out that Sunday got with Roger and he attacks him with a golf club in the balls, throws him inside of an empty refrigerator and takes him to the recycling plant. And you find out that the boss actually killed his brother in the same method by putting him in a fridge and he's literally an axe wielding serial killer he is dude the, he's that dude that, the dude remember on the interview back in the day so i f***ing ran up behind him with a hatchet smash 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 yeah the boss shows they go back to the apartment the boss shows up at the apartment with an axe the boss and roger kind of get in a tussle and the boss and brutally dies, dude. He falls all the way down to the bottom of the part apartment head first and his head and torso collapse in a little bit. Yeah, it was like brutal, but kind of goofy at the same yeah, time. Yeah, no like blood or No, anything. no, yeah. <laughs> also like, in that fight scene, um, Yahoo Sirius jumps up on a table and starts making ninja noises and does this stupid ass. Th it, th this pissed me off for no reason. Uh, so that is pretty much oh, the- Oh, there's a big thing you're missing. Oh, what am I missing? What did I miss? The hubcap at the end of the movie. Oh yeah! Flies into space and yeah. connects to a UFO. And that one, I want that to be my first point. What the hell was the point of the UFO stuff and the alien <laughs> stuff? I don't think there really was a point. I hate bad editing. This may be some really bad editing. Did it? When he gets hurt, there's these weird ass freeze frames I do mm -hmm. not like. There's really weird cuts to music, mm -hmm. really odd cuts to music, just mm -hmm. like out of nowhere. But when he goes flying off the cliff in the car, the music like cuts like halfway through him falling mm -hmm. when it should have cut either as soon as he went flying yeah. off or as soon as he hit. Right. But it like cuts halfway through. Yeah. This movie 
movie actually had some decent set design. Yeah, yeah. There was a couple of yeah. sets that weren't bad. Yeah. And like some of the practical effects look cool. Yeah, like the, the trash scene did look cool. And the apartment scene where he destroyed yeah. his apartment. Yeah. Yeah. So there was some decent, uh, decent effects and decent set design here. I didn't hate the movie. I didn't hate it. I there I mean, I was entertained. I was entertained the whole time. You know, I wasn't bored. Did there were some pretty entertaining moments in, in, in I just this don't movie. think it's my style of comedy yeah it's just not for me and also like it is similar to Ernest but this guy does not have the personality of Ernest no definitely like not. Ernest is definitely fun not. like Ernest yeah. has a great personality yeah. and Jim Varney or whatever yeah um, just brought so much to that character and I don't know if I had that same connection to this guy man I don't know Devin I am just I'm torn on this one because I kind of like it in a weird way, kind of like in the army now. There's just something weird and quirky about it that just appealed to me in some way. You know? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. You always. So I think that's it for this episode of VHS Voyage on Mr. Accident. I'm Matt. I'm Devin. We'll catch you guys next week.